Just run through what has happened to Britain's five and a half million small businesses and sole traders today. Well, small and medium-sized enterprises, Nigel, are the backbone of our economy. They're, they're the engine room of the world's sixth biggest economy, these SMEs. A lot of SMEs will have taken today a hit in the form of a six percentage point rise in corporation tax from 19 to 25%. Which is a 30% rise. Given that a lot of these small and medium-sized businesses will have been hammered during lockdown, clinging on, yeah. dealing with massive energy bills, dealing with higher staff costs, dealing with huge supply chain pressures. These are businesses that haven't got the power in the supply chain, the buying power to get a sweetheart deal, as a lot of the big businesses have. They have to absorb the cost pressures. They can't always pass them on. And now they've taken an, a big hit in terms of corporation tax. At the same time, Nigel, a lot of ordinary men and women on not particularly big incomes are going to be dragged into higher tax brackets. The, the starting rate of, of uh, income tax is about 12 and a half grand. That's going to stay where it is until 2028, a lot, dragging in two or three million more so low-income workers. Six years. Absolutely. At the same time, you've got the 50 grand roughly... Uh, top rate of tax over which you pay 40 percent again two and a half million extra people are going to be dragged into that you know middle ranking teachers and nurses they're not well paid the inheritance tax threshold is staying where it is until 2028 it's been at 325 grand since 2009 almost 20 years you want to leave your house to your kid and obviously that threshold is the main threshold that impacts you. At the same time, I think we've had a, a forecast from the OBR. We are in recession now, officially, according to the OBR. No other big economy, Nigel, is raising taxes to this extent into the teeth of a slowdown. And what worries me, it's all about trust between individuals, people running their own businesses, people trying to make ends meet every day, and the states. What we've seen today, I'm afraid, from Rishi Sunak, a son of this town, and Jeremy Hunt, we've seen an awful lot of stealth taxes not being open and honest about the extent to which taxes are arising. And then we've seen spending cuts, which are unspecified in terms of timing or department. This is not the way to manage an economy. You have to be upfront and open with the British public. You have to treat them like adults. And I think today we were taken for fools. Somebody working. There you go. Let's say somebody working, doing well in their job, earning 45, 50,000 a year. How much more tax would they pay in 2028 compared to now? If you pay, if you're on, if you're lucky enough to be, yep. well, let's say, let's take 33 grand, which yep. is the average yep. wage in this country. It's a pretty good wage. If you're on 33 grand, the freezing of tax thresholds on current inflation assumptions dragging you in means that between now and 2028, you will pay an extra two and a half thousand pounds on income tax. That's a huge amount of money, right? That's a, you can buy a car for your kid, right? You can have a, a family holiday of a lifetime on that money. That's just been taken away from you today. If you are on £50,000, Nigel, again, using the inflation assumptions that the OBR has given us today, then you will pay an extra £6,500 between now and 2028 just on your income tax. Then there's all the other additional taxes that have come in today. So this is a big tax grab. Already, at the beginning of today, we had the highest tax burden, tax as a share of our national income, since the early 1950s, since Labour's government under Clem Attlee. And now, between now and over the next five-year period, the, the, the trajectory of this autumn statement, the tax burden is going to get even higher. Are we paying for the lockdown? I think a lot of it, obviously there's a cost of living crisis. Everyone yep. in this room knows yep. that. Yep. Everyone watching and listening to GB News knows that there is a cost of living crisis. The OBR says that inflation is going to average 9.1% this year and it's still going to be very high, 7.2% next year. So there's lots more cost of living rises to come. But of course, we are suffering from the fact that we locked down so deeply and so heavily in this yep. country. Yep. And we need to be honest and yep. open about that. I agree. And I don't think Rishi Sunak or Jeremy Hunt are being open and honest. <laughs> no, I have to say, just quickly, Liam, marks out of ten for the budget. Oh, three and a half <laughs> at best.